And Hello. we're live. We have sound. So we just okay. met. Sorry, guys, we just missed the whole introduction. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do it again. We'll do that introduction again because it was it was gold dust that. Oh. Absolutely hilarious. Okay, hang on. You give us the countdown, Jack, and we'll do it. We'll do it like it was uh, like it was planned. Yep. Um, three, two, one, <laughs> zero. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hello, Duncan. I've hello, not seen Mr. you in a long Cook. time. I haven't seen you since uh, the year 2020, I believe. Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, first time for everything. Is the sound <laughs> working, Jack? The sound appears to be working. Oh, well, you got it working first time then. Good work. <laughs> and Ta where are you, Duncan? Uh, I'm currently at the, the Tortoise uh, Sanctuary, just next to Tartanland. Oh, this is, how this nice. Is Gormy the Tortoise, I've been looking after him uh, because I've got nothing else to do, really. 
Um, oh. See, I've got a nice wee brush for him here. We'll bring that out later. Okay. <laughs> Gourmet the tortoise. Okay. That's and, good uh, stuff there. Very I've, good stuff. I've got my... Where, um, where are you, Jack? I'm in the my Arctic uh, studio here, um, <laughs> where I have some of Scotland's top bands performing. Uh, well, recording with me. Oh, that's right. wonderful. Are yeah. you all in the same room? Well, we have the rooms are partitioned, you know, so they're like little cubicles, and uh, we just lock each member of the band into an, a different one and don't let and, them out. And then, and then, like you can turn the volume down so that you don't have to listen to them. Yep. <laughs> but um, I've got my Ribena here, so I'll be fine. So how? You've got how coffee what, is it, Duncan? It's tea actually. Okay. Tea and a stone. So Ken Longfellow says the sound is better. Hi, Ken. Uh, but, oh, Ken. Uh, no sound. No. Okay, people are saying better, so we'll go back to the beginning of the comments. Anyway, I'm glad to uh, have a way that we can sort of actually do a live stream. Because mm-hmm. uh, we're not allowed to be in the same room together. We haven't seen each other since um, just before last Christmas, year. since the last stream. Right. Last stream, yeah. We last stream, last couldn't year, even right? get together for the Gorms family Christmas do. I know. Well, I mean, what Mama a shame. <laughs> <laughs> what a deep shame. I was heartbroken to, to not be able to attend. I can tell you that much. And I'm sure the rest of the family was uh, was heartbroken to not see me. I don't know if you can pick up sarcasm. <laughs> no, mum was saying um, that you you were sorely missed. So, uh, well, that's nice you to say, Jack. It's nice you to say that, man. <laughs> well, he wouldn't so, want to hurt. He wouldn't want to hurt your feelings, you know. <laughs> a bit late for that. Twenty-one years too late for that, you know. <laughs> Twenty-two this year, of course, of course. Well, I hope uh, I hope the rest of uh, you had a, a good New Year and a good Christmas. Anyone that's uh, that's tuned in to watch us this evening, um, we're unable to to play music at the moment because we're not allowed to be in the same house. In fact, travel is very difficult at the moment here in Scotland. Scotland's in the depth of uh, one of the worst coronavirus outbreaks in recorded history. Do you think that's fair to say, guys? Or um, the second most, I would say. It's up there. It's up there. <laughs> so we've we've moved from not being able to play music in the pubs, and now we're not allowed to to play music with each other, which is probably for the best, to be honest yeah. with you. If we you should have, have tuned have into done this a long the, time ago. If you tuned into any of the previous live streams. Uh, you could see there was a sort of a downward slope in quality, uh, getting worse and worse uh, over the over the past few streams. Uh, so now, for the interest of public health, we're not actually allowed to come within, I don't know, uh, two meters of each other or something like that, which makes playing music a, a little bit awkward. However, we do have uh, something else. So Jack and Duncan, they uh, they managed to bash their heads together across the internet, and they, they've come up with. Uh, with something that we have to present today, which uh, I'll be honest with you, the two of you, uh, I I didn't think this would ever see the light of day, so I'm quite excited uh, to to be able to show this to an audience at last. Yes, it's it's been a long time in the works, and I have to say, I kind of take uh, I kind of take the credit you're giving me. I think this has been very much a Jack Queer project. <laughs> well, Jack, definitely. I mean, me and nothing to do with this, to be honest with you. So. You- yeah, I mean, this, we we're, we filmed you know, it. We're just, let's uh, let's we're just, just shifting the blame, just in case. We filmed this um, two years ago, uh, so don't worry. Us being close and touching and all the things that we do, uh, don't worry. It was done. To, it was it was done in the past, but this is a. Uh, it's it's kind done, of, done when it was allowed, when we were still allowed to touch each other. So before we go into the, what the film is. Um, Let's let me have a look at the comments here. Let's see who's in the in the stream. Uh, so we've got Anne Hansen. She says you're Cheers, back. Anne. Thanks, Anne. Verbal Merker says no. I think that I think that that may have been when we were screwing around with the sound. To yeah, begin with. you could hear me at the beginning when you weren't supposed to. Well, that was also true. <laughs> Ke- Ken Longfellow, how you doing, Ken? Happy New Year, he says. Happy New Year, San Diego. The email works, by the way. I just haven't replied to you, Ken. Glad to see you here, though. 
and uh, Anne Hansen says, "Oh, is this these? No, this this the people that talk to each other on the stream." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lena, she says she tags a friend and she says hi again. Greetings from Copenhagen and some Scotland. Hello flights. to the mermaids. Alistair Crawford says, "Good to hear you guys again." Cheers, Alistair. Um, Cheers, Ali. Except you won't Cheers, be hearing Ali. our music. Well, you will in the in the film, actually. Yeah, that's what uh, today's all about. Is this uh, this film that we've been long anticipating? <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it. It has. I mean the masses have been calling out for this for so long um, that we finally had to release it. Well, I, I mean. I, I, I agree with that to an extent. Um, uh, to give you a little bit of background, before uh, before coronavirus, uh, this is going back quite a few years now, we were lucky enough to be playing a gig one evening in Edinburgh and we were uh, approached by a guy after the, after the, the show and he said, I come from a, a little village um, uh, in a place called Cumnock which is very close by to Mauchlin, which is where Robert Burns uh, visited back in the late 18th century. Thanks, nice Jack. Jack. Where the Jolly Beggars was composed. And, uh, and he said, we'd love to have you come through and play music in, uh, in, in Cumnock, which is, so, I've misspoken, like terribly, because it wasn't Cumnock, it was Auchinleck. And uh, for that, I'll call it Scumnock. So there we go. So just past Scumnock, you'll find a place called Auchinleck. And that's where we used to go around Burns Night every year to play play songs. And uh, it's a great place, a fantastic place to go. And it, yeah. it was always really good fun. And we always used to like go in and have a little trip to, to Mauchlin, which is where the Jolly Beggars was and where so much Burns history is. And, uh, and there was one year, I can't remember exactly which year, that as well as being approached by our friends over there in Auchinleck, uh, we were also approached by... I don't think I can really say the name. I've got to be really careful at the moment with the the, uh, the censor censorship stuff going on. But we were approached by a a company, a tourist related company, PR company, and they wanted us to make a a video to promote the area. Uh, and of course, we 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 took it. We took it. Uh, I don't really. You 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 briefed me earlier, Duncan, and said you don't want me to tell too much of the story here about what happened. And I can't, to be honest with you, I can't remember an awful lot of it. This was in the, the middle of, you know, quite a dark period of my life. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Duncan. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, <laughs> so I, we were approached by this uh, unnamed entity, and they they gave us a, a large sum of money and said we we want you to we want you to make a film. We want you to make a really really good film. They said. In fact, that they wanted us to go and win a, uh, an award at a film festival, ideally. Cannes. To be. I don't think it was Cannes. They were talking about maybe um, instigating a new one and naming it after us because they expected this the, film to be so good. The Gorms Film Festival. The Gorms Film Fest, the inaugural Gorms Film Fest. But, so they gave us this huge amount of money and told us to go and make this film about uh, Auchinleck and Burns and the area <laughs> and uh Scotland and we said no problem Scotland there's so much to tell we can make a brilliant film and then and then I don't know I remember waking up with a really really bad hangover and and some film footage and uh, and and not any money left can you, yeah, can we... you remember what happened to all the money we got given to make the film yeah I mean well I don't remember what happened but i remember um i mean we filmed it and you know we we took it to the the entity that that um asked us to make it as you said and they weren't exactly you know they they weren't unhappy with it of course but they were they they said they couldn't release it um for some Jack, reason i don't want to butt in okay i don't want to butt in here but I mean, I, can, I know where this is going. They, uh, so this tourist company that, you know, they wanted a promotional video to try and get tourism. The Sky's getting all the tourism. Uh, Dundee's getting all the tourism. Douglas is getting all the 
tourism. And Auchinleck, you know, they were on, it was on the radar, but it has nothing to do with our friends from Auchinleck. They were going bankrupt anyway, and any accusations that were leveled against us, like that's all finished. That the legal procedures are done, and it had nothing to do with us whatsoever. I'm sorry, Jack. I just wanted to interject that because I could see where you're going. We yeah. haven't had a falling out about it for a long time. I don't want to go down that road, road again. You know, I think for me the worst thing about it is that we'd loaded the movie with so much uh, genius, genius, and and you know we. And almost every shot, we had uh, product placement of this company. And since these legal proceedings, we haven't been able to use any of that footage in the film, which, you know, is <laughs> it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Well, let me just say, before we talk more about this, um, Ken Longfellow, thank you so much, Ken. He just sent us 100 US dollars. Um, so hey, that, thanks, that is amazing, Ken. Um, and go towards the legal case. Yeah, <laughs> I hopefully you enjoy the film because if you don't, if you don't think us talking is interesting, which you must be mad for thinking that, um, there's a film coming. So, <laughs> so I tell you hey, what, this may be a, this may be a good time to um, sort of have a word from a, a current sponsor of ours. So here that's we go. A, that's, a, that's a good idea. The current All sponsor. Right, here we go. We'll be back in a second, folks. This is a Gorms presentation brought to you in association with a Scotch pie. Get yourself a lovely Scotch pie, much like Gorms banter. It's pure mints. Uh, yes, we are. We are back. So there you are, folks. Um, that's our uh, sponsor for the day. Get yourself a lovely Scotch pie. Get yourself oh. a lovely Scotch pie. Scotch pie advert, excellent. <laughs> so we're, we 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 lost the sponsorship of uh, the huge tourist tourism entity, but luckily a Scotch pie stepped in to save the day and allowed us to release this video. Yeah, I don't know if my excitement and uh, dubiousness can stand any longer. When is this video going to premiere, Jack? Well, should we play it soon? Should we? I tell you what, let's um, go through some of the comments here from some of the wonderful people in the chat. And, uh, These wonderful, horrible people. <laughs> and after that, we'll sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. It's not long, is it? How long ten, is it? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? That's ten minutes of my life I'm never going to get back. <laughs> Jeez, oh. So, okay. people okay. complaining that they couldn't hear us at the beginning um good stuff and then uh so cynthia west long says greetings from canada thanks hello. cynthia hello tony campbell says hi hi tony oh two no, canadians I'll let, I'll let go these. Uh, uh, do you want to say something duncan no, no, I was just I was just scrolling ahead and my flatmate was asking me if I wanted a can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see behind your tartan uh your tartan, behind the tartan nightmare dimensional oh, doorway. You've got a flatmate in Tartan Land. In <laughs> Tartan Land, hi. <laughs> Alright, so Alice uh, Alex Ellenson says, Hello guys, nice to see you. Hi Alex. Hello Alex. Alison Crawford, cannot wait to see you guys in the Ensign Europe again, hopefully soon. Ah, I can't wait, Alison. I'm the same. I'm abs Look at the state we're in. You know, we're absolutely <laughs> ganting on it. Um, Caroline Lee Smith says, glad you're back. We are also glad to be back. And she says, nah. <laughs> she says, what's all this about touching each other? Well, we were just lamenting the fact that we're not allowed to. I know. It was, uh, don't ask why we want to. <laughs> Can I just be clear, Carolyn? 
Duncan is the one that's uh, worried about being able to touch each other. I don't, you know, we can listen back to it. I don't think me and Jack are, are too bothered about touching each other. We've already been there before, and uh, it wasn't an experience that I'd like to repeat. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Pascal Battaglia. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, well, Pascal says, cheers from Avignon. Um, ah, that's my team, Pascal. Man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Tracy Gerling says, Hi for Dundee. The road Whoa. to Dundee. <clears throat> the road to Dundee. Cracking, Tracy. Thanks a lot. Kimberly Campbell. Hi from Tulsa. Okay. Oklahoma. Ah. Tulsa. Chris Cooper says, Duncan, do you want a can of innocent gun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just pass it through the screen. Pass it through the screen. Exactly. Through... Through the fabric of tartan land to the outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ellen White says, Ooey from Nashville. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks for tuning in. Sarah Coghill says, Mochlin. Famous for saying, do you like Mochlin? Answer, <laughs> I don't know. I've never Mochlin'd. <laughs> Probably only appre appreciated by those from Ayrshire. I was born along the road in Tower Bolton, by the way. Hey, thank you, Sarah. Shout out to the wee freeze. <laughs> Alistair Crawford says, I don't see any pints of vodka. Well, I have a Ribena. That's all I've, I've got today. I've got vodka. I have a large glass of tea. <laughs> uh, Turkish. A coffee, actually, is. Oh, look, we've got feedback oh, about the scotch look, pie. Look, look, look. There's the... Oh, it didn't quite appear. I need to go closer. I can barely contain myself right here, Duncan. What's happening? We're, we're, there's oh, a... what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. My God, Tartanland. <laughs> that, is that that? Oh, there it is. There it is. A An entity. Kind of beer. Oh, my God. Is that? <laughs> Who's that? That's, that's the backroom staff, mate, in Tartanland. <laughs> it's certainly not one of our older brothers, that's for sure. <laughs> Here's Chris. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite sinister, That is the way he just appeared there. It's, it's, it's the ether in Tartan land, you see, that's the way it works. <laughs> you can kind of flash in and out. <laughs> <laughs> um, any, more, uh, any more comments there, Jack? Any more super chats? Yeah, Ken Longfellow says, I believe Scotch pie is slang for snogging in Edinburgh. Ooh. I'd never heard that one before. He's a Scotch a pie. Scotch pie. It's pure mince, by the way. <laughs> um, Sophia Lander says, Nice to see you again, guys. Same to you, Sophia. And you too. Chris Riley says, I mind in the all-night Asda at the Corn Exchange, there was a steak pie called Braveheart Beef Scotch Steak Pie, and it was the most Scottish pie I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> well thanks very much for sharing that with us Chris That's really... but they're not sponsoring us I'm afraid it was only the sort of reduced ones that were sponsoring <laughs> us I think so. Uh, Gorm Jensen surely surely your first name can't be Gorm could be a descendant of the great King Gorm of course there's well, a Gorm in Skyrim as well well I mean if, you're, if your name is Gorm I suppose you are an honorary Gorm Absolutely. Well, I'll drink to I that. Say, welcome to You're the a Gorm. Welcome to the family. <laughs> welcome to the family. The Gorm's family. Um, Hazel. Oh, my cousin, Hazel Reese. How are you doing, Hazel? My cousin as well. It's she your says cousin, hi, Jack. My cousin. <laughs> um, Alistair Crawford, I'll have you in for you boys. <laughs> Thanks, Alistair. Cheers, Alistair. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the stream tonight. Really good quality stuff we got presented for you. And Gary Hull says hi from Northern Ireland. Hi, Gary. Thanks, Gary. How's it going? If so, we need to, uh, we need to get across name. the... It is Gorm's name, he replied. <laughs> I might ch Can we all change our name to Gorm? Or would yeah. That would just be confusing, wouldn't it? <laughs> but our second name is already Gorm. Oh, That would I. be very... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, should we... Would would people in the audience be um, be interested in watching a our little short film? I'll just wait for a reply. Okay. <laughs> Can I just say that I, 
I really wouldn't be interested in watching it. <laughs> but you don't have to. You're on Zoom right now. You're I've here. seen it. It's, why would you not want to watch it, Mr. Cook? I have to say, all this, all, I, I did well, like all the stuff we weren't allowed to put in it as well. Well, well I'm, I'm just a bit worried that there's a lot of me talking in it about, I don't know what I'd have been talking about, man. I mean, I can't remember any, any of this. Because we, we met the, those, those druids, right, out in the field, and then we ended up in Mochlin. We did the show. The show was good. Well, we started off. But, uh, we're giving we it away off, here. We started off filming during the day. Then we went to Pussy Nancy's, and then I can't even remember what happened. Let's watch the film. Can I just, Let's can I blame the, the if, any, if it's not good, I blame the producer, director, <laughs> whatever he's called. Like, uh, I had very little to do with any of this. <laughs> Apart from writing good, it. If it's good, it's, then. It's, it's fine. But... It's fine. You're, it's not like your name's in the credits or anything. <laughs> All right, okay. folks. Okay. We're, uh, we're very proud to present The Lost. Um, well, we're, let's just say we were inspired as well with this by things like Weir's Way, you know, this real Absolutely. nighttime Scottish viewing from the 90s. So if you weren't from Scotland, you wouldn't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. Can you, uh, that was, that started really good, by the way, Jack, and then you, then I, you kind just... of mucked it up. But, but <laughs> I like that bit when you said, like, we're really proud to present. Can we, can we do that? Can you do that again and then do it? That, that would be great. I actually yeah. thought I was watching the TV for a second. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're really, really proud to present our short film. Here we go. Three, two, one. Enough for me. Uh, it gives me absolute, enormous pleasure to introduce you to our main act for this evening. Please put your hands together and welcome once again to Autumn Light, the Gorns. Is there for honest overtake that hangs his heed and ah that the coward slave will pass him by with our be poor for all that for all that and all that our toils obscure and all that the rank is but the gain is stamp The man's the goad for all that What though on him lay fair we ride We had and grave and all that He folds their socks, he knaves their wine A man's a man for all that For all that and all Anciently pronounced and sometimes spelt Affleck, Auchinleck is Boswell country. One of James IV's most trusted courtiers, Thomas Boswell was beside the king in death at the Battle of Flodden Field in 1513. Boswell married the Auchinleck heiress in 1504 and was granted the estate by the king. We summon to warm your cockles, Mr. Weir. Give some of that. Hi. <laughs> Take a cup of kindness yet, lads, eh? Lands in the Douglas Water were thought to be granted to a Fleming in the 13th century. His descendants named the township and castle and themselves Douglas. It would fast become the most powerful name in Scotland. The good Sir James Douglas, loyal commander of Robert I, was the man to establish Douglas power. He is also the man who in 1307 burned Douglas Castle to the ground and the English garrison based inside it. In the 19th century, coal mining came to Douglas and the subsequent subsidence led to the demolition of Douglas Castle in the year 1937. The principal coal fields in Scotland fall largely within a diagonal tract of land about 30 miles wide, running roughly southwest from both sides of the Firth of Forth across to the Ayrshire coast. 
This area contains the historical coal fields of Fife, Clickmanon, Stirlingshire, the Lothians, Kirkintilloch, Lanarkshire, Renfrewshire, and Ayrshire. The eastern fields, especially Fife and Midlothian, were the first to gain importance. Records pertaining to New Battle Abbey demonstrate mining on an economic scale from at least the 13th century. In the 18th century, demand for coal increased as more and more coal-using industries, such as lime preparation, glass and vitriol making, and most importantly, after the 1760 example of the Caron Company, coke-fired ironworks. Well, expansion continued through the 19th and early 20th centuries, with Lanarkshire emerging as the most productive field. Uh, but since 1918, however, Scottish experience has mirrored the rest of Britain. A decline in demand as the old basic industries dwindle and disappear. On the 1st of January, 1947, under Labour nationalisation policies, the state acquired the coal mines and a stringent programme of pit closures began. Oil and gas would monopolise government thinking from the 1970s. Though, to this day, a much smaller coal industry still fights for electricity contracts. For all that and all that It's coming yet for all that When man to man the world o'er Shall brothers be for all Eight miles southeast of Kilmarnock lies the village of Mochlin, hallowed ground to Burns' lovers. It was during his nine-year tenancy of Mosgiel Farm, just to the north, that he penned many of his most famous lines. I a Jacobite spy name, Lyndon Ayer, Lyndon Ayer. You Jacobite spy name, Lyndon Ayer. You Jacobites by name, your faults I will proclaim, your doctrines I am blame, you shall hear, you shall hear, your doctrines I am blame, you shall hear. What is right and what is wrong, by the law, by the law. What is right and what is wrong by the law? What is right and what is wrong? A short sword and a long, a weaker man a strong for to draw, for to draw. A weaker man a strong for to draw. Ye Jacobites by name, lend an ear, lend an ear. Ye Jacobites by name, lend an ear. Your Jacobites by name, your thoughts I will proclaim, your doctrines I am unblame, you shall hear, you shall hear, your doctrines I am unblame, you shall hear. What makes heroic strife, famed of heart, famed of heart, what makes heroic strife, famed of heart, what makes heroic strife, Here stands the handsome Gothic-style parish church of 1829, but its predecessor was the lumpish, plain, sombre kirk in which Mochlin-born Jean Armour and Burns were publicly rebuked by the Reverend Daddy Auld for their sins. And here in Castle Street is where the two set up home after their marriage in Mochlin Castle. Burns Cantata, Love and Liberty, now known as the Jolly Beggars, was born on a trip to Pussy Nancy's when Burns had his companions the notorious Court of Equity, one John Richmond and James Smith. After 
Witnessing much jollity amongst a company who by day appeared as miserable beggars, Burns and his friends came away, the poet expressing much amusement, especially at the ongoings of an old maimed soldier. A few days later, Burns recited the first draft of the poem to Richmond. Even Matthew Arnold, the 19th century journalist from England, so critical of Burns, wrote, When the largeness and freedom of Burns gets full sweep, as in Tam O'Shanter, or still more, in that puissant and splendid production, The Jolly Beggars, there is more than hideousness and squalor, there is bestiality, yet the piece is a superb poetic success. It has breadth, truth and power, which makes the famous scenes in our back cellar of Goethe's Faust seem artificial and tame beside it, and which are matched only by Shakespeare and Aristophanes. And here, at Pussy Nancy's Cottage in 1785, is where Burns observed that Merry core of randy gangrel bodies, the jolly beggars. The cantata records a beggar's revel in a low dive. Quite a number of vagabonds were at the carousal, and Burns gives a song to six of them. Uh, here we are. There you go. There's your credits now. Yep, Written we're done. We're we're live. Cookie. We're live. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. So sorry about the uh, technical difficulties you were experiencing there. Um, that is probably the best that video will ever look. <laughs> ever. The the quality was really poor, Jack. And I don't just mean the the standard of uh, the material, which I would suggest you never play that video again, and uh, <laughs> and that that would be ideal. But the quality of the, the broadcast there, I mean, I know you're working very hard from the Arctic. I I wonder how it was. Can you let us know in the the chat how how it was there? Was that watchable at all? Because if not, we can try it again at the end. It was a. Uh... Supposed to be watchable, but we had some technical difficulties there. Uh, right, so let's let's see what what people are saying about this film. <laughs> oh. uh, wow, there's a lot of comments here. There's, there's a lot of a comments. Okay, do you, good. Uh, well, do you want to get Do you want to get some, Duncan? Right, so. So there was a few few people asking or giving us uh, well, advice. Well, just just do in individual ones. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember where you stopped. <laughs> All right, so oh, I, I got oh no, it's frozen. It's frozen, guys. There we go. Uh, that's and then that's hit play below, to get it back. That's below where I was. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Daniel Sunday. I'll just do it. Daniel Sunday said, "What's up, gents? Thanks, up, Daniel. What's up with you, man?" Uh, let me just see. Uh, and Andreas, cheers from Comblens. Yeah, I know you texted Stu there to. Uh... Danke. <laughs> oh, we just got sent ten pounds by Chris Riley. Oh, Thank you very much, Chris. Chris. Thanks, Chris. I don't know. I mean, that film must have been right up your alley there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, roll that fabulous footage, says Ken. Cheers. <laughs> Kimberly Campbell, what time is it there? It's half past uh, 8.37. Uh, in the Arctic. <laughs> uh, Alistair Crawford, go for it, guys. I let's see it, says Gorm Jensen. All this talk of pie making me hungry, says Kimberly Campbell. Daniel Sunday, okay, show the movie. Are there any nude scenes? 
<laughs> I hope not. We cut those ones out. There, there were actually a lot that we filmed, but the no, there wasn't. The, the... There was there was loads that we filmed, but it all had the uh, the logo <laughs> behind it, so we couldn't use it in the end. Well, I mean, the there's agency that no nude scenes. The agency that hired us to make it, they weren't a fan of those scenes, so they had to go. I, mean, I don't I don't know if uh, if a company goes bankrupt and closes, if all legal cases they have against plaintiffs are are finished. So there was no <laughs> nude scenes. Okay. None of the money was wasted at all. What money? What money? <laughs> what money? A reasonable amount. I mean, we'd never ask for a lot, and uh, we worked the best we could. <laughs> Let's move on. Moving on. How, so, how was the quality? It's, it seemed I'm really... Try, I'm trying I mean, to find out. I'm up in Monty Musk. I'm up in Monty Musk, and uh, I'll be honest, when I phone somebody, the quality is really bad. So because I'm on the live stream at the same time, maybe that affected it. But for me, it was like stop, start, stop, start, and... You know, it was mm. unwatchable. Right. Uh, they can uh, always put it on YouTube, and then they can yeah. watch the people can watch the bad the, idea the, the the short film without the the interludes of of us talking nonsense in between. So, uh, yeah, Sarah Coghill said it was buffering. Uh, Alison Crawford says, "Good to hear you singing again, boys." In the film, of course. Cheers, I. Uh, amazing song, boys. Uh, who is singing along? Alistair Crawford. Uh, Alison Crawford says, Me, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Campbell, very cool. Duncan, if the COVID ever gets under control, we want to visit you in Scotland. The film is so cool. Thank you. Well, oh, great. Duncan well, says been, thank you. Positive. Absolutely. Uh, whenever that's going to be, Edinburgh will still be here. We hope. Oh, I. Ken Longfellow says, I'm taking notes with extra vowels, proper English, just in case there is a test to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Campbell, oh no, it's frozen. Alistair Campbell, it's frozen, guys. Alistair Crawford, sorry. Chris Cooper, hit play to get it back. Just trying to fix the problem, that was Duncan. <laughs> Anyone else think Duncan's hair is reminiscent of a centurion's helmet, says Ken Longfellow. I, I, I get I that. do. I get that. <clears throat> he's, he's not it's, like that anymore. He's cut it. it. No, I haven't. I've grown it. It's tied back. Mm. What was the Legion again that went missing? The Ninth uh, Legion. The Ninth? The Ninth. Led by um, Channing Tatum, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> True story. <laughs> um, Malta... Camerling, hello, she says. Uh, he says, I keep doing he that. He says, Jack, come you, on. You, you've drilled it into me now. Uh, Ken, are you right? Ken Longfellow, very nice film, gents. It was good. A few hitches is all. So that's good. Uh, good enough. Kimberly Campbell, it was still very cool. Love the song, lol. Chris Riley, bit hey. choppy boys. Uh, Morvin Coggle, the sound mostly worked. The video looked like pictures because it kept pausing. Enjoyable, though. <laughs> that's about all it was anyway but that's good Kimberly oh, Campbell yeah. just a little delay like a kung fu movie uh, even better <laughs> Daniel Sunday I've got a baby boy born 21st of December I saw that on Facebook Daniel Well, congratulations congratulations to you and Ulrika if you want us to play the bar mitzvah which will be in 13 years is that right I think. Just ask. We'll be there. Just ask. Just ask. Okay. Alistair, well, well, say hello to him, uh, or her, whatever the, the baby is. <laughs> Sex. Oh, baby boy, <laughs> you said your, baby boy. Whatever your baby is. <laughs> Love that. Uh, baby boy, say hello to him from us. Uh, Alistair Crawford, that was the scariest thing I've ever seen in a graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I think you're not alone. And, and saying that or thinking that, I think there's very few few things that could possibly be scarier than seeing Stuart Cook seem Thank to you, levitate above a gravestone. Uh, it's terrifying. I, I agree. I agree. Uh, Chris Riley, I dramatic pauses throughout. Very artistic. We'll stick well, it on YouTube idea. as a separate video. Vote, know, Jack, vote that's for a risky it. idea. Vote for it um, in the inaugural Gorms Film Festival. It is the only film that you can vote for. 
So please get your votes in early. <laughs> it's all films to do with the Gorms only. So there's nothing else can enter into that festival. Is that is that an end to the uh, the the messages from? No, there's the... more. Okay, well keep them coming, Jack. Daniel Sunday says, "I thought Rachel might make a cameo." No, she's a. Uh... She, she was singing. Well, yeah, she on the singing. song. She was on the album. I, which album was she... was that track that from? Was from uh, "Not for Glory or Riches." Buy the CD now because I have a box of them over here, and I need to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, and make, make sure you have a listen as well, folks, if you're looking for uh, so any more music with Rachel. Uh, Do Wally yes. and Wayward Jane. That's uh, the two other groups. Think... You can find they've got videos on YouTube. In fact, Do Wally even have a, a song featuring one of the chaps who plays banjo with us. Uh, I'd recommend that as well. So They've got a new those. album out. Dominic Buy Mikey. it. If, if you, tell you what, if you've bought the Gorms album, all three of the ones that are available already, only after that, Go and buy Rachel's <laughs> album, Do Ali. Great advice, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> You're so selfless. <laughs> Any more messages, man? Yep. Um, Daniel Sunday, uh, the tone was good, the video was laggy. Chris Cooper, pissing behind the gravestones in the last scene seemed a tad <laughs> disrespectful. How did he know that? And then he has got a laughing emoji, so that's good. He's not angry. Great. Uh, and then Philip Pauline both says, Hi from Canada. Miss our Lebowski sessions. You guys are the best. Wow, oh, that's yeah. going back Lebowski's, a while. That's a blast for the past. How you doing, Pauline? Mm. Good to see you. I mean, that was about 10 years ago. No. Maybe not. I'd have been 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah Coghill says, Yes, put it on YouTube as I couldn't watch it. It was so jumpy. Love the Ayrshire scenery on all the burns, though. Sorry to break the news to you, uh, says Caroline Lay Smith. Uh, you have been up, start, stop, start all night. It's not just the movie. Nay, bother, keep oh. going. Shh. Oh, that's not good. I might have not to, uh, next time we do this, I might have to set it up differently. But anyway, uh, Daniel Sunday, of course you should play the bar mitzvah. <laughs> awesome. So what did uh, what did what did you think of the movie anyway, Jack? Well, I mean, I'm hundred percent happy it. with it. Well, I, I edited it. I mean, Stu well, obviously yeah. wrote hit, wrote the this the stuff. Not as bad as I expected, <laughs> but pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I particularly like the um, the coal fields section. I think that was that's... my favourite bit. That was my favourite bit. I almost thought that that I recognised the pit head. Yeah, the little you can see. Um, oh no, Cameron Henderson says switch it on and back o- switch it off and back on again. <laughs> uh, good advice. Good advice. <laughs> um, we've just been sent some money. Oh my goodness! We've been sent ten pounds. Bye. Hang on till it loads up. Chris Riley. Oh, I said that. And then we got. Thank you, Chris. Cheers, and then, Chris. Thank and then, you again. And then David Lee Smith uh, sent us twenty pounds, and it oh, says, cheers. "Thank you very much. That's amazing." And amazing, it says, David, uh, "Thank you." From Davis and Caroline, Fibushi near London. See you in whiskey Carolinas. bar later ne- later this year. Hopefully, I hopefully. What's Carolina named after, Duncan? The Shaggy song, surely. I was going to say that as well, I <laughs> Okay, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so what have Sorry, we got com- da- Sorry what David have- Smith. What have we got coming up next? We've been talking about our new album for about a year. We have. So I think it's time for a word from our sponsors. Again? Okay. Well, just in case you missed it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a laggy advert from our sponsors. <laughs> This is a Gorms presentation brought to you in association with. There we go. Scotch pie. Get yourself a lovely Scotch pie. Much like Gorms banter. 
It's pure mints. Uh, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're, we're live. live again. We're live. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what well, that uh, advert was great. So, so what, yeah. Let me just be, just before that. Let me just say we're thinking about for the next live stream to premiere all the tracks from our newest album, which hasn't been released yet. And can you play... guarantee they'll be played at a good quality, Jack? I can guarantee the sound will be. Maybe no, I can't guarantee that even. <laughs> but, I'm excited uh, anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> but we're, we're going to try that. So people, hopefully, we may we might just have like a a slideshow of different photos while we while we hear the tracks. But maybe we'll do that next time. So that'll be ten tracks. Uh, yeah. So we, we we record a new album and we'll let, let's talk about that in a moment. But I've got a question, if you don't mind, Jack, as you sup your Ibina, Duncan. Yeah. Yes. In Tartanland. In Tartanland, yes. Do you celebrate Robert Burns much in Tartanland? Oh, of course, of course. Robert Burns is a is a huge is a huge family favourite in Tartanland. Okay. Well, have you got your haggis yet for Monday? I don't have my haggis yet, <clears throat> but given that we're not going to be doing a stream on Burns Night itself, and I won't be getting the. Uh, I won't be getting out to play my bagpipes and get free haggis, so I will I'll have to go and buy some. But uh, I thought I might do a wee poem just to remind everybody about haggis. I've That's got it. a haggis. You've got a haggis. Would you like to, would you like to see it? <laughs> I'm not sure we're on stream. Is this yeah, is, is this suitable for work? It is, depends. because... Is it, it depends who makes it. Oh, look at that. Is that a haggis? I believe so. <laughs> it doesn't look like my haggis. <laughs> that looks really good. That looks tasty. And and how how do you cook that? Well, I don't know. I you wish I know. knew an ode <clears throat> to a haggis. Then maybe I would understand. Well, <laughs> there is an ode to a haggis, but it doesn't actually tell you how to cook it. It just just there tells you how. Well, since it's going to is it is it Monday that's Burns Night? I so the date was it twenty second or is it so, Sunday? I think it's Monday. The 25th. 25th of January is Burns Day. So that's which, pretty soon. So and that, that might it go some way to explaining why you're wearing that wonderful... I thought you'd never ask. The Burns t-shirt. Oh, look at that. That brings back memories. <laughs> uh, but maybe you could recite us a little bit of Burns, Duncan. <clears throat> I, aye, aye, I will. So normally on Burns night, I'd go out to a pub, play my pipes and eat haggis. And uh, just before eating it, I would say a wee poem and stab it you've probably seen this before i don't have a haggis with me right now all i've got is gourmet the tortoise he's... okay i've got a haggis <laughs> so i'll pretend he's a haggis and then that'll make me feel better so here we go address to a haggis good luck fair... <laughs> thank you fair for your good honest... luck <laughs> <laughs> quiet in the back <laughs> Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain know the pudding race. I boon them a you tack your place, paint stripe or therm, wheel are you wordy o' a grace, as lang's my arm. The groan and trencher there you fill, your hurdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, and through your pores the dews distill, like amber bead. His knife, See rustic labour dicht and cut you up. Sorry, Gormy. We're ready slicked. Trench in your gushing entrails bricked like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive. Deal tack the hindmost on they drive till ah, their wheels swiled kilts belive are bent like drums. Then old good man may like to rive, but thank it hums. Is there our rat, French ragout, or olio would staw a sou, or fricassee would mac a spew with perfect scunner, looks stoon with sneer and scorn for view on sick a dinner? Poor deal, see him out as trash, as feckless as a withered rass, his spindle shank a good whiplash, his neve a knit 
through bloody flood or field to dash. Oh, how unfit. But mark, the rustic haggis fed. The trembling earth resounds his tread. Clad in his willy knee a blade, he'll mack it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned like taps o' thristle. Ye powers, wha mak mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. Old Scotland wants nae skinkin wear that jops in luggies, but if you wish her great for prayer, gie her a haggis. Slancha. Slange. Cheers, man. Cheers, Duncan. No worries. So, aye, Monday, haggis, neeps and tatties, and uh, poetry and music. On your own, in your own house. <laughs> Let me just say that um, Kimberly Campbell just sent us 10 US dollars. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. And uh, somebody else sent us something too. Let me just see what it was. Um, it was Stephen Riley sent us 10 pounds and it says, get yourselves a couple pies. Yeah, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, Stephen. We will. Thanks a lovely so much, scotch man. pie. <laughs> so, so uh, Kimberly Campbell's actually uh, asking where to buy CDs, Jack, and it would still be through our Bandcamp page, I believe. If you type in the Gorms Bandcamp into Google, it'll take you to the page, and I think you can only actually buy. Oh, I need to set that. So if you if you don't do it tonight, do it. Uh, well, later. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, and I'll uh, we've got two albums for sale the second one and the third one they're both in print but the website needs to be set uh, sort of uh, updated okay but yeah Bandcamp if you go to the Gorms app Bandcamp then you'll find it there perfect great uh, so shall I just read out some some of these comments and uh, maybe we'll for wrap sure, it man. up yeah, for the day good. yeah um Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, Svenja Hansel. Hey, Svenja. She just sent us 20 euros. Cheers, Svenja. Thanks Danke. so much. That's amazing. Cheers. Spend uh, that immediately on a... another video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll spend it on the sequel. Uh, uh, Kimberly Campbell says, post on YouTube. Okay, we'll, we will do, but we're going to do that anyway. Chris Riley, um, and I, I, the thing is, I think the internet's running better now. This is me, by the way, not Chris. But anyway, uh, he says, now, no, I totally did send another tenor. Thanks, Chris. We, 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 we called you, called your name out for that. Thanks very much. Two tenors. I think it was that just awesome? that one. No, you, yeah, yeah. Chris, <laughs> I apologize deeply, <laughs> deeply. Thanks a lot, man. It means a lot to us. Uh, Alistair Crawford, we should all meet up there for a pint. We should indeed. Where's there? Tartanland. That, probably Pussy Nancy's, maybe. Anywhere Nancy's we do. Anywhere Never we mind. do. Never mind. Cameron Henderson, Cam, says, say aye to a pie. Will do. Say aye to a pie. <laughs> Proud sponsors uh, of the Gorms. Hang on here. Eileen Mullen just sent us £10. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Eileen. It's amazing. Cheers. I hope you're much, having a good night. Much appreciated. Thanks for the support. Chris Riley says, pure mince. <laughs> <laughs> pure uh, mince. Kimberly Campbell <laughs> says, happy Friday. Where do I buy your CDs? Bandcamp. Uh, Alistair Camp. Yeah, Gorms uh, Bandcamp. Alistair Crawford, I can't donate through PayPal. It won't let me. Hmm, not sure what's happened there, uh, Alistair, but... Probably hopefully. banned. Yeah. <laughs> We've been oh, thrown off you. the platform. <laughs> uh, Kimberly Campbell, my PayPal went to Jack. Thanks, Kimberly. I, why did you tell them? I don't want to let them know about that. <laughs> um Ken Longfellow, who could guess your Scottish accent could be any more difficult to understand? And then you quote Burns. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so an accent you don't understand and a language you don't understand, it's not going to help, really. Get loudy. Cheers, so Ken. I, 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 there's some words that I still can't, I can't forgotten what they mean. <laughs> um, San Diego. <laughs> Alison Crawford says, well done, I think, to the film. Thanks, Alison. Uh, Ken Longfellow puts a link to the, the album that's handy uh, 
Chris Riley, Gon Stewart, sing a wee song. Oh wow! Aye, Put what, you on what the spot. You, did, actually, no. Did you do the bus one the other day? Aye, can you mind I that? Did. It went. It went very well. Uh, I'll say. I'll say the last few comments, and then we'll we'll maybe say goodbye with some something. Not maybe not that if you don't want to do it. But Alistair says, "Great boys, Burble Merker, well spoken. Thanks, Burble." Chris Riley, I didn't send two tenors. I was joking. <laughs> uh, Bastard. <laughs> Take it all back. You have to bleep that this out is live. for the YouTube version. <laughs> uh, it's after nine o'clock. Otto Mikkel Furely from no- uh, Norway, who we had dinner with, says, oh, will, yeah. will you release her on LP as well? Uh, we're going to just do it as a download to start with and then m- maybe CDs. We're... we're uh, We'll see where we go. I, I don't know if we'll get LP. But um, Alistair Crawford says, Pussy Nancy, boys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Kimberly Campbell, nice poetry. Thank you. What, uh, it was Robert Burns. He, is, he was very good at that sort of thing. Is that so, us, Jack? Is that is that all the, the comments? I, I'm ready to go and get my dinner, which I'm, I'm late with my dinner. Uh, so... Well, okay, excellent. So, just before we go, Malta Kemmerling was asking, will we do any other merch, uh, such as t-shirts? And we do have ideas uh, about that. Um, we are going to get the album out before we do anything else, though. Uh, but yeah. So, the we'll next to... stream, as we said, will probably be um, yeah, playing each album. track from that, all yeah. 10 tracks. Yeah. Uh, so, it'll be kind of like a gig with us talking in between, unfortunately not playing live. I'm going to, you know, when the technology arrives to let us play at the same time, uh, like this, we'll happily do it. Um, but it's good to be able to talk to you folks and uh, see how you're doing, you know. We're still here, we're still alive. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed it to some extent. Obviously, a few technical issues along the way, but... Uh, I'm not sure when we'll be able to play music again together in the pubs. We're not sure if the pubs are going to be opening. We don't know what on earth is happening. But as uh, Jack and Duncan have said, the next video we do, we're going to try and we'll try and play some of the the new records. We recorded this record what the start of 2020 is that right? Last uh, February, like yeah. the end of February, yeah. Uh, so we're very very pleased with it. Um, we had our uh, our. our Accordion player, if you've been, if you saw us on tour, when were we on tour? 2019 last time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did we not go yeah. last year? Oh, no, of course, there was lockdown everywhere. Oh, yeah. she was lockdown. But if you saw us on tour 2019, uh, or to be honest, if you saw us before, you might have caught them as well. We had a, our accordion player and our uh, banjo, banjo player, let's just call them that. Um, and they were both on the, the record this time. Rachel also came along. A uh, girl used to play fiddle with us. Uh, she was also on the record as well. Uh, but it's just been kind of sat there w- waiting and festering. Um, but yeah, we, we decided what we'll probably do. And at the moment, we can't play music together. Uh, travel bands, pubs are banned. Any sort of movement is banned at the moment. So we're going to try and play play the record for you, a few tracks Hopefully we can get the, the quality decent enough and uh, and see if you like it. So I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but yeah, I mean, thanks very much for very all your support at the moment. It's it's absolutely amazing. Uh, over here in Scotland, music's banned. I don't know if it's banned where you are, but it's, it's very, very weird to be uh, <laughs> chopped down in your prime, you know? <laughs> Obviously the uh the old pecker hasn't been working properly for quite a long time due to all the drugs and the uh, nicotine but uh but to be chopped down your prime is always pretty heartbreaking so i hope you will tune in next time and uh, and listen to the record we're awful proud of it uh so it'll be it'll be nice to finally get a chance to play it all right on that note can uh eileen mullen asked if we can say happy birthday to zaria of course we can so Shall did we... she donate? Did she donate any money, Jack? <laughs> um, let me just check. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's okay. Uh, That's let, okay. We'll let her let's a freebie sometimes, you know. Let's wish happy birthday to Zaria. And I don't think we can sing a happy birthday. You know what might be funny if we do try and sing it together. 
and it'll come out all like overlapping and horrible. Let's try it. Okay. One, two, <clears throat> three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Zaria. Happy birthday to you. 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 <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Uh, really good stuff there. David Lay Smith says, Buckfast Jack. No, it's... This is uh, Ribena. This is high class stuff. This cost me an arm and a leg. No, joking. It's uh, Ribena. Uh, Cameron Henderson says, "Lots of love, guys. See you. S- n- nice to see your chops." Kimberly Campbell says, "Ha." Alistair Crawford says, "A get together in the park," and Eileen Mullen says, "Yes." So, guys, should we um, should we leave on that note? I think I have yes, to get uh, going. Do, do we have a, a definite date for the next live stream? Is it just going to be next Friday the same time? Or? Not yet, man. Not yet. I, I'm not sure exactly when. It's either I mean, next. Got to, maybe two weeks. Okay. Maybe well, two weeks. If everybody, if you just same keep an time, eye on though, Facebook, probably. Um, the details will go up about a week before it happens. So we'll see you next Be time. good to yourself. Oh, it's Santa's and each son, other. Bobby Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let me just play out with a little uh, drum solo. Okay, I'll do it again then. Be good to yourself. And each other. It broke, Jack. You, you, it's, you went it's quiet. Okay. It's a disaster. You've got your background noises turned off. Start it. Finish a disaster. It works for everyone else. Take care, folks. See you See later. You next time. Bye. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Okay. The video's uh, the the video's done. Sweet. But is it, Duncan? It is. It is. It's done. Good.